You're taking me on another trip. I've lost control. Better get my grip. I've seen this face. We're still selling tickets. Yeah. And people are still filling the theater. I just oh, so this, is, this is the stairwell. Oh, this is the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're going to go really back saying. This is where you're Oh, my God. I know. 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 So the stage, do you want to see where the dress rooms are? Yeah. And then we'll go on stage. So this is this is where the actors this is where the actors hang out when they're waiting oh. to go on and they're watching the stage on TV. Oh, and so they, you guys see everything. They've got here. audio and video down here. What's going on? Interesting. And um, these are where our dressing rooms are. We have our our sound. It's impossible to walk here missiles. How ironic is that? We're going to go on stage? Yeah, let's go. Let's so go. do all the actors get their own dressing room? How does uh, that work? Or? No, no. We have one quote-unquote star dressing room. Oh, really? And so there's... Yeah, and that's on the first... That's... That's... We don't, we don't get anybody to star dressing room. Oh, you don't? Unless there's a star. Ah. Oh. I think... Actually, our people who uses our star dressing rooms are stage managers. <laughs> Where they check out their uh, this is where they check out their hair and makeup. Check so out that little last thing before we go on, see if we're okay. Oh wow. So this is the stage. This is watch your step right there. <clears throat> this is the stage when there's no set. Wow, I still don't even This is the fire curtain. That by law we have to we have to keep closed when when we're not doing shows. Fire curtain. It's an so. asbestos fire curtain, so in um, case something gets... Yeah, in case we're required to be able to... We have to isolate the stage from the house at all times unless we're doing a performance. It's an old, old theater fire code because there was so... You know, theaters used to be lit by candles or gas lights and there are all these... See, the rules that don't really see, make exactly, sense see, everything is about fire. <laughs> in case of fire, a in the middle of, In the middle of a show, if there's any fire backstage, we have to lower this curtain and we're separating the audience from the stage. And now what, what was more relevant when we had candles and everything? Exactly. These days it's when a little... Were, <laughs> when there were gas lights. Um, <gasps> it's kind of like that where the rules never change, huh? Nope. Oh. And so you see this is where when we have uh, scenery in the air, when we're flying scenery in and out, and certainly all of our lighting and everything. Wow. So with the stage, what happens? The stage set crew comes in and builds all on top of this? And they, they're building it right now in our shop. So as you like it, then we have a shop that's about two miles away. Oh, okay. South. And um, so uh, right now, there, they're building all of the props and all of the scenery okay, for as you like it. it okay. When it's all built and finished, then it'll all load in. This door, this wall opens. Oh, wow. We have a, we have a loading dock out there, so just the truck comes up, offload all the scenery, and just put it up. But actually, no construction will happen here. That makes sense. So it keeps it clean. Very clean. Thing. Yeah, and and shop space requires a lot of space. That way, also we are always we're usually building one set while another show's in production. So we don't have too much downtime between the shows. How does the set sort of work? Um, I've seen also. Do you build all your sets, or mm -hmm. do you sometimes if there's a production from somewhere else, you purchase pieces from? Um, or? Well, the only time we ever share pieces is if we're doing uh, a co-production with another theater company. Okay. Like Ain't Misbehavin that we're doing this year is a co-production between the Rep and the Arizona Theater Company and the Cleveland Playhouse. Wow. So that Quite show's going to be like a long, like six months. But it's an original production. So we all share in the cost of building the set once at the first theater. And then that set will travel to all three theaters, but it's built for the three theaters, and then it'll be thrown away. Okay. Um, but that's the exception. Everything else, but it's still custom built for this production for these theaters. What happens to all the costumes and we wigs them, and stuff? We put them in storage. Oh, you put them in storage. Do you ever reuse them, or is it yeah. kind of like the museum of costumes? Well, you know, standard stuff gets reused, like... A, like a man's black overcoat of a certain period or style might get used again, or hats get used again, purses, gloves, uh, shoes may, may get used again. Um, 
you know, a really specifically wild designed dress yeah. may never be right again. Well, we'll yeah. keep it anyway. Just in case. Or it may get adapted, or maybe some designer will see it and say, no, let's rip half of that apart and we'll change it. Huh. And so we keep everything in stock. Wow. And we share with the theater, we rent, we share. Um, see, this is where I need to come for my Halloween outfit. Yeah. <laughs> You get a good Halloween out there. So where are all, the, all those bars over there? Uh, that's the right. That's right. That's how all of this raises and lowers. I see. All of that it's is. It's all mechanical. Yeah, it's counterweight. So you have to calculate how much weight is on the pipe, so you can safely lower and raise it. Wow. And then we add. You see the steel that's in the area? Yes. Then we add weight depending on how much weight's on the pipe, so that one person just unlocks it and can just. Mm -hmm. I see. And just pull on the rope and safely. Is that, is that a common thing to have the counterweight? Yeah, this is old. Okay. This is this is old classic stage technology. I always technology. thought that it was mechanical or something, but it's counterweight. It's counterweight. Wow. Yeah. It used to be sandbags. You know, in the old Sand. days, it was sandbags. When the when it wasn't pipe, when they when they were wood, and it was old sailors' hemp rope. And now it's all nylon. Oh, and the, yeah, and the sandbag usually falls on someone's head. Exactly, because the them sandbag. <laughs> sandbag <laughs> in the horror up. movies. In fact, there are some sandbags right there. There's there's some real low tech right over your head. Yeah, right <laughs> over your head. <laughs> I'm a horror movie buff, so I know all about the sandbags and the lighting that falls. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. So, thanks for showing us around. You bet. <laughs>